Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's house. And um, right now, I'm in Stampy's bedroom. Well, my bedroom that I built in a replica of Stampy. But I've actually gone on a bit of a field trip, believe it or not. I want you to see where I am exactly. I am... I have downloaded uh, Stampy's Seed World for Xbox uh, from someone on YouTube. I apologize. I can't remember his... YouTube channel offhand, but I will give them a shout out in the description. You can do the same if you want. Uh, and I, then I just added, uh, quickly added a, um, just Stampy's bedroom here. <laughs> it's, I just had to put something in here because I saw right where it was supposed to go. Uh, I didn't realize some of this was here since the beginning, like these little ice bricks uh, that we built um, in uh, the terrain video that we did here. Um, so this is it in its natural state as it would currently exist. Uh, of course, it probably was a little bit different when he first did it. Um, this is, you know, including all the updates, I guess. Um, so it, it did look probably a little bit different, um, at least as far as vegetation-wise goes. The terrain is probably identical. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Um, but the main reason I wanted to bring you here is, um, you know, I showed you my seed as it started out. This is essentially, this is Stampy Seed as it started out, which is really fun to kind of, you know, fly around and you can see, oh, this is where that is. And, you know, I saw where his you know, house would be over there and so forth. And, and, um, and this, this is just put here by the, the uh, provider of the map, which is completely blank for some reason. But, uh, and then there's some weird statue way yonder in the corner, which I suspect is just his little signature. Uh, so that if somebody claimed it was theirs, he could prove it otherwise. Um, but one of the main features, one of the main reasons I downloaded this and, uh, and I'm showing this to you now, is that we're going to be using this uh, this uh, download as a reference material for building, especially uh, the you know Googly's Island here, and we've got this terrain here, uh, which I'm not sure if this is 100% here now. I mean, obviously this is kind of chopped off at, at a certain point, um, but this will help kind of flesh that out a little easier. Uh, and to help us feel like we're getting a, a you know a more accurate result, uh, and also especially for um, the mountain here, uh, because this uh, obviously is more than likely fairly unchanged. I know he did; you know, he's rescued various cows and villagers and so forth, and broken blocks here and there. But uh, it should be fairly um, fairly accurate still. And I can even uh, just kind of recognize like little pieces that that look like they still exist so i'm going to uh, work out exactly which parts of these he kept and how much of this is actually still accurate uh, i'm not really sure uh, i'm pretty sure it ends somewhere in the vicinity of like this i think from from about here out he uh, blows that up for um you know getting the uh, the theater put in um it's so weird like you know having stampy seed you would think be would be really advantageous but in certain ways, it's a really a pain in the butt because, you know, in my seed that I built from, you know, it's basically flat. So it was easy to just kind of build in all the directions. And here you're going to have to blow up. If you have this seed, if you have his seed, you're going you're gonna to have to destroy like all this uh, and, uh, and, and, and all this over here. And it, there, there's a lot of demolition involved in... Um, and getting this to work. So I don't, I do not envy anybody who's going to try to actually do his house, which I know at some point I'll, I won't be able to resist and I'll be, I'll have to finish his house here at least, uh, just to have that, uh, in the world. But it is neat to, to fly around and see, you know, the pieces. This is, you know, Oh, looks a lot of creatures here. Um, you know, over yonder where this is like kind of where the town would be. And if you keep going over this way, this is where, you know, the, uh, fun land would be over this way. Cause he had to, I remember him saying that there was just a bunch of water that he filled in, which he later regretted. Uh, and then the uh, lighthouse and so forth would be over, uh, over like on this thing here. Uh, and this is where his spawn is, is would be way over right around here, uh, where his emergency igloo is and so forth. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a, a, a heads up as to what's coming and, uh, Having this, I think having this world is going to be very helpful for um, working out some of the terrain that's kind of tough to do, um, and to 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 hope that we get a, you know the most accurate result as we can. So anyway, let's uh, let's get to it. We're working on the secret base, 
and we're going to get to a lot of good stuff today. We're going to do a lot of little details and uh, get set up for doing a couple of the bigger builds down there. All right, so let's head on over there. And here we are. This is looking really good. This is great. Look at this secret base. And it's so bright, so much brighter in his videos, uh, in this video, than it is on his because, you know, all the water is normally up there. Uh, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to uh, we're going to put in all the sort of details of, you know, various chests and whatnot that go around the edge here uh, on both sides. And I'm going to knock out the areas where uh, you have to build the machines. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we're also going to do the glowstone lighting that goes around uh, the secret base. Um, and we'll see what else we can get done, get done from there. All right. So let's see here now. Uh, we're going to refer to this as I did in the last video. This is the short side, and I short meaning uh, it's very short distance from here to the water, and it's longer on this side. So we're going to call this the long side, and again, that's the short side over there. So on the long side, we let's see here. On the long side that is not does not have the door on there. Oh, by the way, I put a pressure plate here. Sorry, I, I no one actually said it. I missed it, which I'm surprised about. Uh, but there should be, obviously, a pressure plate here so you can <laughs> open the door. I figured that out when I couldn't get out of my door. I was like, oh, yeah, there's supposed to be a pressure plate right here. Um, so that is supposed to go right there so that you can uh, get through this door uh, when it's locked. Uh, okay, so anyway, over here, and this is the side where we have sort of the missing blocks nowadays. And uh, so basically we're going to do right from here. Oh, you know, there's a couple more things I want to grab. I want to grab an item frame. Oh, we'll deal with that in a minute. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to keep these. Yeah, this is the right side. We're going to keep the first two blocks and we're going to put a furnace here. Skip one, put a chest. Oops, <laughs> skip one and we're going to put a furnace and you can see I'm just knocking out uh, just whatever block is there. We're going to skip that one and this one is going to be one, two, three, four, or five the tv set is going to go right here we'll we'll build that in a minute i don't have the materials on me so let's just keep going with this for right right now uh so we're going to skip that one and then do a crafting table uh skip one more and we're going to put a cauldron skip one more and we're going to put another crafting table because hey you can't have too many crafting tables not in stampy's world uh so then we're going to skip two now we're going to put a double chest here. And again, this is kind of where it comes into play where you can actually see under the chest a little bit. And here you can see under there, which is where only where it kind of becomes important that you put um, half slabs of stone underneath uh, there. So now at this point, we should be your, your two, your double chest, you know, the, the other half of it should be on the, you know, basically you know, right if you, Right split in half, right where this um, glass uh, tower is. Uh, so let's see, there's two there, and then skip one, put one single chest, skip one, and make a double chest here. Uh, so that should bring us right to the edge here. Yes, and it does. And do, 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 do. we're going to skip one, and then we're going to hollow out eight, which is where the plasticator is going to go. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that leaves two here, which is correct. Uh, so the plasticator uh, will go there. All right, so I'm going to turn around and go to this side, which there's not much on this side except for the machines that are, that are going to be built later. So uh, let's see. So this is the first two. And we're going to carve out... Uh, one, two, three, skip two, and one, two, three. And this is where the cloning machine is going to go. And uh, when you build the cloning machine, you probably end up destroying a lot more of this than, um, you know, than just what I just did. But uh, that will give you a, a, a starting point as to where we're going to put that. Uh, let's see. So then we want to do, let's see, one, two, three, four. There should be the door, and then there should be five one two three four five and then we're going to block knock this one out we're going to knock out the next let's see we're going to knock a total of nine so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's where the cakey bakey whatever tasty fakey leaky 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 machine is going to go 
And don't correct me. I know exactly what it is. Don't, I know. You don't have to <laughs> give me corrections on all that stuff. Uh, so let's see. Then we're going to have three. And actually, I don't have to break anything out. This is where the time machine is going to go. Uh, but the time machine doesn't go up against the wall. It goes right uh, up against these things here. So it's going to actually go... If we want, we can just grab some half slabs here. Oh, I got room good. Um, and they're actually going to come out. One, two, three, four. And this is going to be four empty here. And then two, three, four. Uh, and that is where the time machine is going to go. And those, these, I put these here because these do go on the sides of the time machine. Not in front of it, but just on the sides uh, as they come out. Uh, and then it leaves to right there. So that is, that's all the outside parts. Let's, um, tell you what, let's put in the television real quick. Um, because there is something I want to explain. Back when Stampy built his, there was a glitch you could use to create uh, a sort of quasi half stone slab. You take two slabs and you, you, you put them through this crazy contraption that you have to build with redstones and all this. And you see it in in one of his, his videos, uh, I can't quite recall which one uh, offhand, but uh, it does allow you to make this kind of a special block where it's made out of stone, but it's solid in it, and it doesn't work anymore. That, sorry, long, long and short of it, it doesn't work anymore. I tried it, and I couldn't get it to work. Maybe it does, and it, I did it wrong, but um, it all seemed to be correct when I did it, and I, I couldn't get it to work. So if you can get it to work, great. Otherwise... You can just use iron blocks here. One, two, three, four, five. It gives you the same basic, uh, you know, effect. It's it's not doesn't quite match up, but I, I don't really know what else to do at that point. Uh, so we just need some black wool. Let's grab some materials here. Wool, black wool, black wool, black wool. Uh, we need a couple of note blocks. Uh, we're gonna need a couple of levers, and that's. Really? Oh, a button. A stone button. And that should do it. So we just need to put uh, note blocks on, two note blocks on the end of each. Oh, whoa. <laughs> there. Uh, fill this in with black wool. And put a couple of these up here. Now I have to turn sideways now with the recent update. <laughs> oh, cool. Made a little note there. Um, there you go. Those are, those are intended, by the way, people, uh, if you don't even know what those are, I, don't worry about it. It's an, it's an ancient technology, uh, for how you got television signals into your house. Um, uh, okay, so there. Um, and by the way, don't ask me if this works, because <laughs> it doesn't work. It's not a, it's not a thing. Oh, I almost forgot the button. The button goes right here, uh, on the second block in from the right. Um, in his videos, he just did it, kind of superimposed a video on top. Um, it's just a, you know, basically special effects. So no, this does not, obviously, this does nothing. This does nothing. These have more function than that does. See, it makes no noise. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay, so there's the TV, and uh, there's that. So where are we at here? All right. Um, all right, we're doing good on time here. Um, hmm, what should we do? What should we do? Okay, let's do, let's work on the plasticator. No, no, no. Sorry. 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 Also don't want the you-know-what alarm going off. But uh, we're going to do the, the lighting. The lighting with the... Oops, I didn't need two. The glow so on and so forth. So the ends, it's really simple. Um, all the way around, it's going to be... Um, it, it comes down. It's going to be on the third block down. Uh, wherever it happens in it, on any parts of the wall, you'll find... It's going to be just three three blocks down, and then there's going to be a fence on top of it. And this is just right in the middle here. Uh, so one, two, three blocks down, and then just put that there. Now, I am, let's see, where am I? It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten blocks. From each end, it's the same. It's ten blocks in that we're going to put this. So this this counts as the first one, uh, even though you can't really see it. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then come down one block, and then one more, and that's where the glowstone. That should line up uh, with that glowstone as far as the height goes. So you should have an empty 
black, then the fence, and then glowstone. And then just directly across from that is exactly the same. This goes right across here. Uh, put this on the third one, and that one there, and there you go. Uh, there. Pizza cake. Uh, now, over here, um, I'll tell you what, we're going to do that on each end just to make this simple. Uh, that'll help kind of reinforce the instructions. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the tenth block, one down, we're going to put the glowstone. And I'm just going to kind of spin around and put it here. Where did my fence go? There we go. And let's do this one. Uh, let's see, where's the middle? Right here. And we're going to come down to the third block for the glowstone and put that on top. Okay, so those are the two ends. And then there's one block uh, in between here. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to count the 11th block from this first empty one. So there's going to be 10 empty blocks. There's going to be uh, glowstone and then 10 more empty blocks to get to the next one. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then right there. So there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So there's 10 empty blocks in between those. And I'm just going to, oops, put the fence here. And it's just going to go right across from that one, which would make it right here. There you go. That's, that's it. That's how he's got it. So it's 10 in from each of the ends, including, including this block. Uh, and then you're going to leave 10 empty and, you know, just make it even. So this is going to be right in the middle of the, uh, right in the middle of these two blocks, uh, right on the kind of the 11th block from either direction that you're coming from. So, uh, that is that. Oh, one other thing, one other mistake. I got a good view of the, of the blocks or, you know, the placement of the glowstone blocks from the plasticator video. Uh, and something I also noticed when he did that is that this, does seem to be black wool here instead of you know dirt or stone or something oh by the way I had um, installed some <laughs> I reinstalled the pylons here uh, and brought them all the way down and I thought this was gonna actually end up resting on the glass but it does not uh, which makes me happy because I don't remember any sort of wood being visible uh, down here but anyway um, it did look like this was um, all black wool I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dig it out right now but if you want to dig this out uh, grab your black wool and put that in there. I apologize for that mistake. I don't know if something changed or what, but the video I saw when he was coming down, he was coming down this, you know, and kind of slowly coming down the water. And when he went underwater, it looked, it didn't, it didn't look like wool to me. So, but I could have been wrong or something changed. I don't, I'm not really hundred percent sure since I've not actually visited, uh, his real world. So if you want to, I think the best course is just to, to put this in there as black wool. Uh, the plasticator, although I, don't know, I guess it's not really that most, that recent of a video anymore, but it was uh, at the time when I was building this. So let's just, um, I, I would say just change that to black wool. I think it looks better too. It really does. Uh, okay. We're not going to build the time machine because I did that in a different video. Um, <laughs> the cakey baking machine, also a different video. I'll put links to all these videos uh, in the description. The oh yeah, well this is the cloning machine, which by the way does not work. It's not a, there's no cloning. There's no cloning in micro in in Minecraft. It doesn't function. There, there may be some mods on some sort of PC version, but here on the Xbox it's fairly uh, bare bones. But anyway. The uh, the over there's overhead glowstone as well, so I want to want to make sure we get those. Uh, let's see here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the eighth block, right from the middle, there's going to be a fence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on the eighth block, just put a fence. That's going to be three uh, long. I guess is the right word for it. I don't know. It's one more. Than, than these. It hangs down one more block lower than these. Um, am I doing this right? Hold on. Uh, eight, no, actually, 
actually no on this end no we are on let's see we are on the short end so it does go there but on this one there is fences that come out once you come three down you're just going to go one out in each of these directions lengthwise on the on the uh, room and then just put a piece of glowstone on the end of each one and there you go that will be where that goes and on the other end there's there's like two there's two I don't know what you call them there's not quite chandeliers but um, same thing though it's eight um, eight blocks one two three four five six seven eight and we're gonna bring that down two more and we're just gonna put one piece of glowstone on the end that's it that's all for that one and then over here let's see uh, it's the 17th block uh, go in this direction so we know that's eight uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 17. Oops. <laughs> what did I say? 17. 17. Okay. Let me just double check that now. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 17. So we're just going to copy the design from the other side. Just come three down. And then have a couple of sticky outy parts here. And glowstone. Goes here. Now, originally, he had um, the glowstone. Were they were originally, you know, kind of um, looked like kind of like street lamps from you know they were anchored to the to the base here, and I think he quickly realized that um, he needed to kind of make some room uh, for things, so he just kind of uh, brought them up. But he kind of kept them sort of low because otherwise this gets dark really fast, and he's you know he's, you've seen in past videos, you know he gets a lot of googlies uh, spawning in here. So all right. Um, that's going to be it, I think, for this video. It's a fairly quick one. Uh, and only because I, I... The only machine I'm going to show you how to build at this point is going to be the Plasticator, which is going to go here. Uh, because I've already shown you how to build, or you can find on my uh, YouTube channel, how to build the cloning contraption, the cakey-bakey thingy machine, and um, the time machine which also does not work by the way i put that in the description but everybody seems to ignore that and wonder you know accuse me of building something that doesn't work and i'm sorry it's just it's just special effects people it's just it's just special effects that he uses uh to make it all happen it's it's wonderful uh to watch and very entertaining but it is it is all make-believe but it's all fun it doesn't matter if it's real or not uh so you can't go back in time i'm not sure what would you would expect to have happen if you went back in time anyway but anyway oh but wait i almost forgot oh gosh I, look at me I, I almost forgot some important stuff here uh first of all i forgot the boat <laughs> the boat uh what do you call them things the uh you know the dispensers here and uh also there's some uh hmm what do i call it wall art i don't know he's got some he's got some uh item frames with some stuff in there let's get that done uh actually let's clear that out there's some item frame and we're gonna need what are we gonna need let's see we need a uh we're going to need an iron sword, a gold sword, a rose. Where, oops, where did it go? There we go. Rose. Uh, we're going to need a bow. And an arrow. Oops. Don't need two bows, but that's all right. All right, so item frames. Uh, this is on the long side. Right above these uh, furnaces and chests, we're going to put uh, one above each of these two. Uh, three. Yeah, I can't speak can't count uh, and then above those two and they're gonna go right in order that I grabbed them uh, it's gonna be a iron sword here gold here we're gonna put a little lovely jubbly love love petal in there uh, one bow here and an arrow in that one and there you go that's that's them uh, oh <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do uh, let's clear that out and let's grab some dispensers here from the old Mm, uh, oh, no, that's a dropper. Let's see, a dispenser. And I need, um, let's see, I'm going to need a pressure plate for that. And we're going to need a torch. And let's grab some boats while we're here. I'll uh, just fill it up like that. Um, so, uh, dispenser goes right here next to, you know, right at the end of this row here. Uh, let's put a pressure plate in front of that. Uh, now, if you think you can just go ahead and put a 
torch on there, you would be incorrect because that just is not how it works. Uh, you're going to have to crouch and then you can put it on there. There you go. Uh, similar to how we did the, I was told to do the music blocks, which I didn't, or the note blocks, which I didn't do previously. So I'm just going to put a couple in here uh, and come around here and do that. Oh, by the way, we don't need these torches anymore. Take these out. Um, let's see, dispenser here, crouch, put a torch on top, a pressure on top, and a uh, pressure plate in front, and then it's gonna, oh, I'm still crouched, that's why. Um, let's put a couple of boats in here, and just, okay, stop flying, okay, here we go, it should work. Yep, very good. Uh, let's put this back in there. And you can just fill that up with boats, obviously. You'd want to fill that up with boats. Um, I'm just going to... I'll take these... Uh, all these torches out in between videos, but you can do that too. Uh, so, homework. What's your homework? Well, why, why am I giving out homework like I'm some sort of teacher? Um, homework optional? I, I don't know how optional I think it is. Maybe it's not all that optional. I'll go ahead and take out that top row and replace it with black wool. Um, there's not really any blasting to do if you want to, um, keep working on your walls if you haven't already done that. Um, and as you saw, now that I have Stampy's actual seed, I'm going to be able to give you some better dimensions, you know, better, uh, groundwork on, on this area, including Googly's Island, which this is just, you know, obviously not going to cut it. Um, so we'll have a better, you know, layout of the land here eventually that will... Um, allow us to, <laughs> are you trying to get my attention? Look at these, like, <laughs> cracking me up there. Um, so once you kind of smooth your walls out to, you know, and they don't have to be really smooth. That You know, what I've done here is more than enough, uh, I think, what you, what, what needs to be done. Um, and then if you would just want to extend your, your poles all the way down, um, all this is going to be kind of in preparation for filling this in with water. And then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to start filling in with water without, unless you're an expert on doing that already, because it is, it is not an easy task. It's fairly time consuming. Uh, it's not like you can't just like, you know, just start dumping water all everywhere and hope that it's going to work. It's just not, that's not how it works. You have to, you know, like we filled the swimming pool, we have to kind of build little bridges going across, uh, every couple of blocks and then, you know, slowly fill it in and then slowly break away the blocks and then it'll all work out just great. But, um, uh, but since I don't have this terrain worked out down here yet, um, I'm going to suggest that you don't do that quite yet. That would be my suggestion, because uh, I am going to handle that in a different uh, a different video. Uh, so, I think that's it. Let's just... Um, God, can you imagine the comments I would have gotten if I didn't put the, the, the dispensers in or the, all that... Uh, why can't I get out of here? <laughs> let me let me out. My, it's because I'm flying. Okay, all right, or not flying. Uh, okay, yeah. So dispensers and the wall things. Anything else I forgot? Uh, people, let me know. Now we are gonna do. There is. Uh, hmm, which end is it? I think it's on this end. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. You know the secret secret room that goes on one of these ends. I gotta double check which one it is. And. Um, that's going to be, I think, um, I think we're going to do the Plasticator next, and then we'll do this room. Uh, and in the meantime, oh, your, your homework, oh, this is your homework, duh. Your homework is to build the things that go in these spots that I told you. Um, just go back to my, it's kind of like my old videos, that's where I kind of started doing videos for this uh, channel, is building stuff that Stampy didn't show you how to build. Um, so go ahead and um, start working, you know exactly where they go. Um... So you should have no problem putting them in. So that's that's yeah, that's your homework. That's your homework. <laughs> uh, and that'll be ongoing. You don't have to, you know, that'll keep you busy for a couple of days probably uh, to get those done. And I'm going to have to build them too, so I don't feel too bad because this will be like the tenth millionth time I've built them. But um, and um, the the cloning contraption, uh, I am going to go over the. I don't want to use the word because I don't want the alarm to go off. I'm going to use the things that go on behind the scenes that require electrical simulated environments that go on back here that are colored uh, 
like this. It's going to be stuff over here. I don't want to say the word because that seems to be what triggers the you know what alarm. So, um, yeah. So if you're having trouble with this this working correctly with the button pushing and all that out here, um, just build the outside part, and um, I'll I'll go over that that stuff that goes on back here uh, in a little more detail to help you out because um, we're going to be doing a lot more of that behind this wall right here for the plasticator. And I feel like I've drone, been droning on for the end of this video. I apologize, um, but that's going to be it. That is definitely all we're going to be doing for this video. So I am Darman68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.